It's not gonna take one weekend to get this property up and running. People coming in and out, they use stuff. It's gonna break. We're not gonna pick up the phone at 12 a.m. What's been going on in your life? Oh, okay, <laughs> you've been up too. Yeah, so we are, we do co estate, so we are picking up a brand new property. I haven't seen it yet. The This is an existing client. We've been hosting with them for, gosh, a couple of years now, and they have a brand new property. We are going to go take a look at the property to see what needs to be done. The first thing that we're going to do is call out things that just don't work, right? For our guest avatar that we're targeting. So we're going to look to make sure it's safe. We're going to make sure that there's nothing broken in the property. Obviously, one of the biggest things that we have to do as a management company is we're going to come in and help purchase the property. So we're going to be able to determine, hey, is this room big enough to accommodate like things like a king bed, right? Can a desk fit in here, right? We know our avatar travels for work sometimes. So we are going to be evaluating that space to determine what the space needs and how we can furnish it and design it to best suit our guests. And in that work too, we also are part of the budget making for the for the property. So we're gonna be able to, to put to have input about how much needs to be spent to make that property actually work for our guest avatars. This is really exciting. I love, this is one of my favorite parts of co-hosting. Um, because you get to be involved in the onboarding process. And a lot of times when you meet clients, they have never done this before. So you get to be a, an educator and a lot of aspects too, which is fun um, because there's a certain degree of trust that's established there and whatnot and the partnership really that you're building. So uh, if you're not a people person, don't get into co-hosting <laughs> because you will be dealing with not only guests, there's this whole other world of it that you're dealing with property owners and uh, managing the ins and outs of those relationships too. So that's an important part of it. But yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna go take a look at it. Um, from there, in our assessment, we'll also, also be able to determine, you know, how long it's gonna take to set up this property. You know, this is considering everything that you've got to do to make it guest ready. So all your bedding, your linens, your furniture, all the technical stuff, like setting up the Wi-Fi, getting the uh, external security camera set up, like all those different layers of things they all are tasks that take time to do. So being a professional, like um, we are as co-hosts, um, you gotta set the expectation with the property owner, right? You know, make sure they know that it's not gonna take one weekend to get this property up and running, but you have a process and a system in place to get it up quickly, but more so, you know, probably along the, the, month, the month to six week marks is more realistic, so make sure they know that. And then of course, you know, we're gonna go over our standard agreement. We have an agreement in place with every single partnership for every property that we host. Every property has its own agreement, right? And the agreement just keeps things transparent between the manager and the clients or the people who own the property. And you have to have that in place. I think I've said that before a lot in my, in my social videos, social media videos and in my content creation, you have to have an agreement in place because that structure is not only the relationship, but the rules and regulations and boundaries um, for the property itself um, and how it's managed and taken care of over time. Because again, you have to remember, this is not a uh, something that you'll be doing on a short-term basis. You'll be hosting mostly probably short-term or mid-term stays, but ideally you'll want to have a contract with this place for years, you know, years and years to come. So get everything flushed out and ironed up and documented up front to make sure that there's no questions, confusion, down the line when things are, you know, when you encounter challenges, because you will, or uh, when there's questions that arise, everything is already answered in the agreement. So things are in agreement, what is in there? If you don't recall or remember, just um, expectations of the owner, you know, what are they supposed to pay for, right? They're gonna pay the mortgage or the rent on the property as they should and keep doing that. You are going to be in charge of everything involved in the day-to-day -day of the operations, right? So that means talking to guests, right? or sending them automated messages, something like that. And um, you're gonna be managing all the, the screening process, making sure that there's good people coming to the property and leaving the property, they're taking care of it. You're gonna facilitate all the cleaning with the property, right? You're gonna make sure that on day one, when the door's open and you host those first guests, it'll look exactly the same as on day 365, right? Everything is a well-oiled process and a well-oiled ship and the property is being maintained, right? Um, the agreement's going to detail uh, maintenance issues, right? Because maintenance issues are going to come up. That's part of the real world, baby. What's what we do? Properties, people coming in and out, they use stuff.
it's gonna break. So, um, things happen, right? So, you just have to have processes in place to make sure that everyone knows what happens when stuff breaks, right? Um, and usually with big issues, it's clearly documented, you know, the property owner is involved in the financial component of that. Uh, and as well as the small issues, right? Light bulbs go out. Maybe it's something that you as a manager just take care of, right? A lot of times there's a certain limit that you're able to take care of things of, up to a certain dollar amount, have that in your in your uh, agreement, however you guys see fit, you and the property owner in that relationship. And then everything after that, you know, it's maybe it's just the owner's responsibility to take care of, you know? For an example, like the heating and air system goes out. That's a high dollar, a high ticket item. So you want to have um, that's you know stipulated that the owner will take care of it. So you know, got your agreement in place, get the property all set up, and um, make sure. This is one tip that I've learned the hard way. Um, it's a really funny story, um, and I learned this kind of the hard way when I first started out. Is you want to have clear hours of operation. And I know it seems so simple. It seems so simple, right? But what's going to happen is that property owner, maybe they're a person who was very, very involved in the prop and then in the operation, right? They're very, very involved in everything about the property, and they want to talk about it all the time, right? So they want to send you messages. They make phone calls. You're going to find out very quickly whether or not you've uh, opened the floodgates for a lot of engagement with a person or a property owner that maybe you didn't think you're going to have that much engagement with, right? So make sure you establish hours of operation. So hours are like 8 to 5, right? After 5 p.m., all of my clients know that, hey, if you want to send us a message or you have a question, please email. We're not going to pick up the phone at 12 a.m. We're not going to be texting back at 2 a.m., right? And on Saturdays, hey, maybe our hours are shorter than, than, than a week, right? I heavily, heavily encourage you to do that because as you are becoming a business owner, as you are acquiring more properties, you're gonna be dealing with so many different types of personalities, not just with guests, but with the clients that you work with. And you're gonna very quickly find out that dealing with them takes time. Almost as much time as it takes dealing with guests and probably more depending on how many property owners you start working with. So make sure that you have regular hours of operation detailed in your operating or your management agreements. It's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of pain in the future, okay? That's my tip from me to you.